In this video, I am going to show you how to download the report that tends to be most useful for the purposes of bookkeeping. This um, is actually just one of two, um, but this is the particular statement that looks most like a typical bank statement. So once you're logged into your PayPal account, there may be some variations um, just due to different types of PayPal accounts and some other unknown reasons. So if you can't find this actual report, um, I invite you to maybe take a screenshot of your reporting area in PayPal and to send me a note and I can most likely tell you what the alternative would be. Um, but for sure, if you have a personal account, it's not going to probably look like this. I am on a business account. So I have already went to reports um, from the top navigation menu. And then here on the left-hand menu, you want to go to financial summaries. And then you want to go here to financial summary. This used to be called the monthly financial summary, so you might see me refer to it that way in different places, and it's essentially it's the same thing. And in this case, I do want the last month um, because I'm going to be using this report to reconcile the prior month. And since we're in the middle of August, I don't want a month-to-date situation. I actually want month-end numbers for the prior month. So I'm going to click July. I am going to click Create Report. And then I typically download mine as PDF, but you can use whichever option you want. Um, for me, my eyes prefer the PDF option. And that's downloading here. And I'm just going to open this up really quick so you can actually see a little bit what this looks like. So again, very similar to what I mentioned before, that it looks very much like a typical bank statement, beginning balance, ending balance, and then it has lots of other numbers here, fees, refunds, if you were to have any chargebacks or anything along that line, currency conversions, um, all of it. So this particular report, again, is a total godsend when it comes to reconciling the PayPal account as a true bank account, which is really really um, a good practice to follow. All right, have a fantastic day.